OK YouTubers, another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here. Uh, today, uh, we're looking at uh, Sol 901 to 903 on the Gigapan site here, MSL. You can see the number there, MSL 901 to 903. And this one that has been sitting on my desktop for a while. Uh, I've been very busy recently, and I just found it again. I thought, and I found a match for it as well, which I, <laughs> when you see it, you'll be like, wow, this is pretty cool. Um, here it is up in the top. This is the top left corner. I'll just zoom in for you very quickly. And basically, we have here what looks like a blade. Now, it seems to have broken here. And it has this unusual hook-like part sticking out. But it's very nicely shaped and uh, has a very, very smooth, nice, long curve to it there. And it's fairly symmetrical. And I was pondering, looking at it, thinking, could it be a piece of pottery? Now, if that was pottery or rock, had it split like this, it would have broken. There's no way a rock or a piece of pottery or, or clay or, or whatever would have stayed together had it split in this way here. Now, I've got a couple of enhancements of it here. I, do, I, kept, I try and keep this short. Here's the, uh, the original clip here. And there's the highlight. Here it is, a bit closer. We'll zoom in a bit to that. I mean, it doesn't get really clear. Like all these images, they're not very good quality. Uh, but this is reasonably close to the rover. And it's, it's about five inches long, I think. Um, not, not much longer than that. It could be less. Um, it's very deceptive. As I've said before with these images, they, they make you think things are a lot bigger, but they're not. Uh, let's get a bit closer. Here's... Yeah, here we go. Here's the enhancement. Right. Now, pay attention to the, the pitting and texture, as well as the shape. We've got a very shiny, light-coloured edge on the right here, which looks like a blade, uh, at the edge of a blade. And we have a nice point. It's a bit vague up there, but it's a bit out of focus there. I have sharpened it a bit here, as you can see, and I've just white-balanced it and, and played with the contrast. I haven't done much to it at all. Um, but it, it is a very symmetrical shape. And this part sticking out was really interesting. So I had a look on Google Images and managed to find a, a, a very similar looking thing from Earth. Now, there are many types of these things on Earth. They're called bill hooks or, or uh, they're, they're, there are many. I mean, when I say there's many types, there are thousands of different shapes of these things down here. And these were basically used uh, by people in uh, medieval farmers uh, they're still used today uh, they're much like a machete but um they're a little bit more versatile than machete they, they the hook on it is is useful uh and uh basically they were used in warfare in the middle ages by by warriors who couldn't necessarily afford a, a very expensive sword uh in the in the english army for instance um the 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 poorer warriors, the farm workers who would sign up for the army would, would take their farming implements with them and use them on the battlefield. And often they would take far, farming implements like this. Now, sometimes these would come with a, a very long blade, much like um, a halberd or pole arm. But this was the closest one I found. Now, these would often have a very long pole, uh, which could be five, six foot long, sometimes even longer. Uh, there, there, there are hundreds of different types of these. I can't get a, across how many there are. And when you start looking into it, it's, it, it can go on forever and ever. Um, there are so many designs and shapes and the, the different sizes and and, uh, and styles, you know. But this was the closest I could find. And uh, this is from a pole arm. And it has a very similar hook sticking out here with this part sticking inwards. Now, I think what this was for was for actually trying to disarm your, your opponent. Um, if you had a sword or, or another weapon, you could, you, you could catch this on the edge of his weapon and, and possibly disarm him by twisting the blade and then possibly flipping it out of his hand or something like that. Or you could, the hook would be used for, for bashing someone on the head with and it might go through their, go through their helmet, for instance. Um, they're, they're very versatile. Uh, but this was a very good match. And when you look at them back to back, uh, the angle is not the same. What I'll do 
is I'll put these images at the end of the video and I'll, 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 tw I'll turn it around a bit so it, it kind of matches the, the same angle. But that I thought was a really good match. And I mean, you don't get any more detail than that. I'll zoom in for you here. You can see here where it's broken. I've sharpened that a bit. And this may may have been a bit longer and the, the, the very tip may have broken, but it, it looks in pretty good shape. And like I said, if this was a rock, there's no way that this would, st would have stayed in one piece. This must be metallic. And it looks very similar to some other things I found recently, <clears throat> excuse me, which I'll show you now. This uh, Mars Warrior helmet. Now, some of you may have seen this already. Uh, this was what looks like a warrior helmet on Mars. And I'll just let it play through a, li a little bit. Um, this was this is called, uh, there we go. It's very it's similar in some to, that we have on Earth. This is a Sade combat helmet from the, about the 15th century on, on Earth. Uh, this is my Mars War Helmet or Statue Part vid, uh, video. Um, so if you haven't watched that, I suggest you go back and watch it. But the, I have others as well. It's not the, This is not the only one. And this one seems to have a visor here and a possible dead alien inside it with his chin and, and, and some, a mouth here and some teeth. If you want to see more detail, you want, you want to go back and see some of my previous, previous videos. There's also this one. Uh, this it looks like a, a pole arm, particularly a glaive. Now, a glaive is a particular style of pole arm. Now, this I published over a year ago. Mars Alien Warrior Spear and Humanoid Head. Had almost 10,000 views, this one. Um, now, the, the quality of this image that it came from is very, very poor. Uh, I might do a remake of this, actually, and see if I can get a better quality image of it. Uh, but I'll let that play through a little bit. Now, this is similar, but it's a, a long, straight, kind of sword-like blade here and this has still got the pole attached to it is it going to play it yes it is um but as i said the, the quality of the image is very poor and uh it's difficult to determine a lot of detail from it but when you see the enhancement here you can see what look like two bolts here one here and one here and this is the pole here and it the blade comes right out into a point here and is lying flat in the dirt but the, as i said the quality of the image is pretty terrible. Uh, it, it's probably lost about something like 60% of its information where they've resized it and mucked around with it a couple of times. Uh, so it doesn't really get that clear. In fact, it looks a bit better when you zoom back. Uh, you can see it just there. You can see that the pole, and there may be another part of the pole elsewhere in this video up here somewhere. So I suggest Go back and have a look at that one. I won't, I won't go through it all now. I'm trying to keep this short. So that, that's another one you can go, go back and check. Because these things are all starting to match up now. And I, uh, like I've said before, I'm getting to the point now where there's so many of these things that I've, I've discovered in these images that um, it's starting to build quite an interesting picture. And it looks like, at least in part, that, that in this area of, of, on this area of Mars, in Gale Crater, that there were ancient warriors and these may be burial items that have been uncovered uh, by erosion uh, and these may have all been buried or in, inside tombs we have found coffin artifacts and coffin lids and coffin boxes and all sorts of things up there recently so this is all starting to add up and these may have well have been buried and this is one uh, I did a while back also let me pause that a sec this one's called Mars Humanoid Warrior Skull in Helmet uh, now this was this is quite heavily slated and, and, and uh, by people at the time, but I do have lots of things to match up with this now. And uh, my my helmet and, and weapon collection, Mars weapons and and uh, stuff. If you look at my uh, playlist here, Mars alien arms, armor and clothing. Now there are there's there's like loads of videos in this playlist, and lots of them have things like helmets and weapons, even a, what looks like a pistol and uh various things like uh, what they're like swords and, and and implements that kind of thing so I, I do recommend that if you want to have a look because it's a lot to look through you can you can just kind of flick through you don't have to watch all of it um because there's a lot to get through there but there's also my other uh, playlist which is called mars weapons top six that's probably a little bit easier to get through because that's much shorter so Right, there's this one. I'll play this through very briefly. Uh, this was a slightly better quality image, uh, this one to work with, but not great. As you can see, this is untreated. 
and I did some quite detailed enhancements on this uh, as you can see now I initially thought this was a plume of, of feathers or hair coming off the helmet this is like a nose here eye here eye here and the mouth here and the cheek guard here I mean this looks like a damaged helmet with someone still in it I mean this may be a carving of course and you can actually see the eyes now and the cheek sticking out here and the mouth here and it, it becomes more obvious in a minute when it, when it highlights but uh, I, I spent quite a lot of time on this and here we go here come the uh, enhancements this looks like a plume of, of hair or, or something coming off the helmet now this may not be I mean I may have got this completely wrong it could be pareidolia I mean according to, to uh, NASA everything is pareidolia apparently um, but there's there's that enhancement now that makes it a little bit clearer because I've colored it differently so you've got the, the fleshy orange parts here eyes mouth and chin and it looks like almost a beard here and the hair coming off the helmet now this also seems to have a big dent in the helmet so <laughs> this may be a real guy in a real helmet much like this one although this is a completely different design and it looks very alien it doesn't looks less human um but from <laughs> from what i've i've seen so far with these things uh, there seems to have been more than one sort of race on mars and some of them look human and some of them look very alien uh and maybe they were fighting each other uh this could explain that these helmets and weapons lying around in gale crater uh or it was a burial site and these things just happened to have been uncovered by by erosion so either way very interesting i thought i'll just show you uh, let me uh, let's, let's zoom in a bit the, the detail doesn't get great on this because as with all these things the, the, the image quality is too poor but you can kind of see what i'm getting at here it, it looks like two eyes and a, and a mouth here and a chin and some cheek guards and a, and a very damaged beaten up helmet so there we go um were the warriors on mars using primitive weapons like we were in the, in the middle ages on earth possibly i mean but these like i said if this is a burial area and this is a there are lots of tombs in this part of gale crater then these may be just warrior tombs that, that um, have, have been uncovered and this may be a burial item that has been uh moved from from where it was or just just if there was a cataclysm it could have got thrown up in the air who knows who knows what happened up there so there we are let's have another quick look at those enhancements quickly and i'll put a couple of uh comparisons in at the end of the video like i normally do okay thanks for watching everybody i'll see you soon